Hey, hi guys, this is Bakapa Chincholikar. In this tutorial, I'll talk about how to drag and drop element in Selenium web driver. The first point I'll discuss what is that scenario which we are going to automate. Then next I'll start discussing the automation code. So let us move on to the first point that is scenario which we are going to automate. So I'll open the web browser of type uh, Chrome browser. So simply I'll enter this particular URL. So in this URL, so this is a drag and drop option we are having. So you can simply, you can see these two options that is a drag me to my target and there is a drop here. So you can simply drag this and you can put it in the drag, uh, sorry, drop, drop here. So this is how you can uh, drag and drop an element from one place to the, from source to the destination side. So we will, discuss about the automation code now so we are done with the discussing a scenario then we will start uh, discussing about our automation code how to write a code for this so simply i'll create a quickly one class from the in a com dot test automation dot test scripts so here i'm specifying the class name as drag and drop so that's it so simply i'll click on finish button so under this i will create a one test method public wide test one So that's it. We can import the and at the rate test packages. So that's all about uh, creating the class and creating the one test case. So now let us open our Chrome browser and enter the URL and let us perform that particular activity. So for opening the Chrome browser, what I'll do is I'll go to my channel. So in my channel, so in the last tutorial I have discussed and I have provided the code also. If you cl click on this video, just go, go in the description. So in the description, I have provided the entire code what I have discussed in that tutorial. So just I'll copy the this entire code for opening the browser and entering the url so simply i'll go to the eclipse id and i'll paste it here so you can import all uh, related packages so it is coming from the web driver manager then you can import the chrome driver then you can import the web driver so that's it. So this line opens the Chrome browser, these two lines. In the line number 15, it maximizes the browser, then it enters the URL, whatever you have specified. So in our case, we have to change the URL. So simply I'll copy this URL and I'll paste it in the code. So that's all about uh, opening browser and entering the URL. So first I, let me refresh this web page. So first I need to identify the source element and the target elements. The source element is, is nothing but the element which I'm taking and the target element that is, that is the destination element where I'm keeping it. So let us inspect this particular element. So if you look at here, so it is having a frame so first we have to go inside the frame then you can identify the source element and the next destination element so let us first switch into this particular frame so in my case i'm uh, finding this particular frame by using the class value then we will switch into this frame then later we will identify the source element and the destination element. Then we'll drag this into the 
destination site. So first I'm identifying the frame so that I can switch into this particular frame. So uh, here I'm copying the class value by using the class I'm identifying this frame. So driver dot find element. by so in my case i'm identifying this by using the css selector so inside that so as it is a having the class name value so uh, simply you can use a dot operator and specify the value so this is how you can write a css selector to identify the any of the web element or frame so in my case, I'm using the CSS selector as a locator type and identifying this particular frame. Then I'll store that into the web element type. Then you can import the web element class. So that's it. So after identifying the this frame so we have to switch into this particular frame so here i'm using the driver object dot switch to then i'm calling to the one method called frame so if you look at the frame methods one is you can specify the index next you can specify the name and the third you can specify the web element type so we are using the third option that is web element type so simply i'll copy this web element and I'll paste it here. So this switches into the inside this frame. So after that we can identify the source element and the destination element. So let us identify the source element here that is a drag me to my target. So if you look at this in the div we are having a id as a value draggable. So here I'm using the id id as a value to identify the source so driver object i'm using here find element by id so simply i'll specify the value here draggable so that's it then i'll store this into the web element type as here i'm giving the web element name as src in the same way, I'll identify the destination element that is drop here. So if you look at the div tag, so here I'm able to see the ID as a drop droppable. So I'll identify this drop here web element using the ID. So I'll copy the value droppable. So here I'm using the driver object dot find element by id so simply i'm pasting the value here then i'll st store into the web element type as a destination so now we are having source element and the destination element so we have to use the actions class here so that we can drag this element and we can drop it in the destination element so here i'm using the action actions class equal to here i'm just creating the object of the action class that's it after that under for the actions i'm passing the driver object so simply you can import the related packages so that's it by using the action object actions object what i will do i'll call to the one method called drag and drop so if you look at it, the first option drag and drop it is expecting the source and the target element so already we are having source and destination web element. Simply we have to specify the first one as a source element. 
and the next one is a destination element. So here I'm selecting the first option. So here I'm specifying the SRC first element that is a source we are having and the next element we are having the destination where we have to keep that element. So that's it. So after that I'll simply call to the build. These are generic methods and perform. So only you have to remember this particular method drag and drop. So it ac accepts the source and the destination element. So that's it. After performing, so first we have switched into switch it into the frame. After that, we have performed the, some actions. After performing the action actions, you need to always come out of the frame. So for that, you need to call to the default content method. So in the same way, you can switch to the default content. So that's it. After that, I'll use a thread dot slip. We can see whether it is properly dragged into the proper position or not. So that we can see the execution clearly. So here I'm specifying the 10,000. So it waits for the 10, 10 seconds, then simply it closes the web browser by using here I'm writing the one statement called driver dot quit method. So simply you can say first option throws. You can select the exceptions type. So that's it. So first we have launched the browser, then we have entered this URL. Then we have switched in the switched into the one frame. After that, we have performed the actions. That is drag and drop by using the source and the destination element. Then finally, we have switched back to the default content from the frame. Then we are waiting for 10 seconds. Then we are closing the web browser. So let us run this program. So I'll say run as test ng test. So it has opened the browser then it has to maximize. So now it has maximized then it has entered the URL also. Then it will quickly drag the element from the source and it will drop into the destination side. So if you look at the screen, now it is dropped into the target location that is into the destination. Then it waits for a few seconds and then it will close the web browser. So if you look at the result here, passes is one, there are zero failures. So that's all about the how to drag and drop element in Selenium web driver. If you have any questions or if you, if you have any issues, you can comment comment in the comment section. You can find all this entire code in the description of the below video. And if you like this tutorial, you can click on like button and share with your friends and colleagues. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial.